nigga thought it was a drive by. Niggas wanna pull up on my block, they can get it. Run it round clips, so a nigga doesn't miss shit. Pull up on his mom. Yo, hello, it's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the opium effect. Let's begin. First, we will make an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl to Y, and the first effect we will add is invert. Now let's add threshold and here you can set these settings very different according to how bright your clip is. For me it's a pretty brighter clip so I'll send it to somewhere 70. It should work just fine as 70 for almost any clip. And now we need to add noise. Make the amount of noise 60% and now we already have this sort of opium look but we can make it way better. Now we can add Gaussian blur. Make the blurness 4 and select repeat edge pixels. Add brightness and contrast. It's going to differentiate a lot for you but i have set it to brightness at 71 and the contrast minus 64 and the last effect i will add is exposure now with this effect you need to go to the start of your clip so for me the start of my clip is right here because here i just have nothing here you will want to keyframe the exposure by pressing on this top watch and now from the first frame go three frames forward so one two three and here set the exposure to minus 2.04 Four. press u and you will see your keyframes right here and what you will want to do here is hold alt and press on the stopwatch and here type loop out this will make this sort of flickering look and it will just look fantastic and we have basically made the opium effect if you want to have even cooler effects than this one you can just completely close out of here and you can make a new adjustment layer and you can add some effects from our halloween pack which we have on our editing visuals website you can add effects such as halloween i'll add halloween effect 10 here i feel like like it's a very cool look as it gives. One of my favorite effects to add would be Halloween Effect 8. And another really cool effect would be Halloween Effect 14. I could just keep adding and adding all of these. If you want to check out the other effects and have these effects, you can do that on our editing visuals website, which helps you elevate your editing skills. And the link is in the description. If you want to save the OPM preset, just go to the adjustment layer, press on one of the effects, and now press Ctrl A, and now hold Shift and select both of these keyframes, and go to animation, save animation preset, and call it whatever you want. I recommend calling it OPM effect like this, and then press save. And whenever you will want to add this effect, you will just need to press Ctrl Alt Y to make an adjustment layer and go here and in the effects and preset you will need to type opm effects drag it here and you will have it just remember to press u and move all of these keyframes to the start of your clip all right i hope this video was useful make sure to definitely try out different settings if it doesn't look as good on some clips it does look brighter than the others for example this one so what i would do for this clip is either change the brightness and contrast or change the threshold and sometimes even removing invert might help you this is also still an opm look i really recommend just messing around with these settings and and you can add other different effects. All right, have a fun and productive day. See ya.